Hi, this is Michelle, and I will be showing you in this video how to change your eye color or a celebrity's eye color with um, GIMP. I am currently using GIMP 2.6, and I will be using Angelina Jolie again. Um, what we want to do is we're going to go to the Zoom In tool, and we're going to put it in Zoom In. Now we're going to go and we're going to zoom in the eyes. You can do this one by one or two at the same time, but I'm going to use I'm going to do one by one just so you guys can see what I'm doing separately. Okay, now we're going to go to the pass tool and we're going to click it. We want it to be on design. We're going to click outside the eye just how we did in the earlier video. And we're going to go all around. It doesn't matter how it comes out because you can edit it. Okay. Right here we're going to Make sure we get the eye inside the lines, not outside. Um, the reason for this is so we can color the eye. And everything inside the eye, inside the lines, will, will be the stuff that we will be able to color. If it's not inside the lines, then we wouldn't be able to color it. Right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new circle. And I'm going to fix this a bit so I can do it. Okay, and we're gonna on our keyboard we're gonna push press shift and left click. And we're gonna do the same thing that we did. Oops. We don't want that. Oops. Again. And we're gonna make sure that we get the whole cubal. And we're gonna do it like this. Okay, that should be good. So now that we've got the whole eye inside the lines, not outside, we're going to go to Selection from Path. The little marching ants will appear. And that's good. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to use the paintbrush tool. We want it to be on circle. And it can be any color you want it to be, but I'm going to use a small one just so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, right now I'm not going to color anything, so I'm going to put that to the side. And I'm going to go to the layer box, and we're going to left click on it, right click, I'm sorry. And since you guys can't see what I'm doing, I'm going to put this down a bit so you guys can see. And then right click on it, and we're going to go to new layer. Put this over here for a bit. And we're going to go, and we're going to name it eye color. Sorry. So we want it to be on transparency, and we're going to click OK. Now, what we're going to do is, we're going to, well, I'm just going to show you how it's supposed to look. We're going to get this new layer, and we want it to be on normal, so we can color on it. If it's an, another um, mode, then it will not let you color it. So now, we're going to go over here, and I'm going to choose my color. And of course, it's not going to be pink, because there's no pink eyes in real life. So we're going to use... Um, her eyes are rather blue, so we're going to use a green. So we're just going to use like a green color. I prefer it to be this color because it's just as close as it can be to a real color. We want it to be on circle, a circle brush, and we're going to put it over here. Then we're going to color it in and see how it's not coloring in in the other parts. And that is what we're going to be doing. Okay. Now, we're going to be going over here to the mode. And we're going to be using overlay. And the eye appears. Right there, the eye doesn't really look realistic. So we're going to change the opacity to about 55. Once we do that, we're going to zoom out so you guys can see what's going on. And see the eye there appears, and it's different from the other eye. So, you can do it to any color you want. You can make it dark, you can make it light, whatever you guys want. But I prefer it to be a little light, like this. Okay, now that is how you change the eye color, and this is not the only uh, method of doing this but this is the best one that I have found yet 
Um, it's not the fastest, but it is also the most easiest to get the eye color that you want. I'm sorry about that. Um, right now, I'm not going to do the other eye, but what we're going to do is we're going to go to select, select none, so that little marching eyes come out. Um, that's how you change the eye color on GIMP. This is not the only method. You can use other ones. And I will be doing a GIMP, com GIMP tutorial on all the other ones. Um, thank you for watching. Please comment, subscribe, rate, and favorite. Um, please give me feedback. Um, request any type of GIMP tutorials that you want. Um, if you want to ask some questions, go ahead. Um, I will be doing some of these um, a lot. So... Please, if you have any requests, just request them in the comments. Um, thank you for watching, and that is it.